I challenge you to use the ballista with nothing. No perks, no grenades, and no attachments! Let's go. What is up, my sexy army? Expert Thief here. But you can call me expert, and guys, I am back doing some challenges. Yes, and I'm not talking about the live challenges where I fail and do horribly. I'm talking about you send me a challenge, I grind hardcore and try to get the best gameplay I can for you guys, and then I come back swanging. Or swinging. Yeah, swinging. So anyway, guys, this was the Naked Ballista Challenge, where I had to use a ballista with nothing on it. No perks, no attachment, no no grenades, nothing. And I know what some of you critical people are thinking. Well, uh, expert thief, if you think about it, the uh, iron sight is actually an attachment for the ballista, so you did use an attachment. You lose, douchebag. No, you're a douchebag, because taking the scope off of it makes it have no attachments. So that's what I was thinking, at least when I did it. So I used a naked ballista with nothing on it. And if I did this wrong, whatever. It was fun doing it this way. So that's how we did it. But anyway, let me just say, first of all, this challenge was super fun. It took me a little while, but it was so fun to do. Like, the ballista, getting kills with this thing is so satisfying. I can't get no satisfaction. But I can get satisfaction with the ballista because it just, when you get a kill with it, you just feel like a boss. Try it out yourself and see. But anyway, let's talk about the gameplay and the map and all that good stuff. So I played on this map dig because um, I wanted to get a new map for you guys, one of the Apocalypse map packs, you know, keep it no, keep it fresh. But um, dig was the best choice for this because it's the most spread out, a lot of lines of sight, a lot of good cover, just makes it easier to use this gun. Um, there, you know, Frost is alright, but it's pretty just like a symmetrical map. You can get screwed if your teammates are running back and forth. They'll spawn, you, spawn behind you and kill you. Um, Pod, I, I don't like that map, to be honest. It's pretty crappy, if you ask me. And then, um, what's that? Takeoff? Takeoff is pretty good. So this or Takeoff was, were the maps I was probably going to get this game played. And then it ended up being on Dig, though. So this is what y'all got. This is what y'all get. And, um... Something very depressing happens in this gameplay, might I add. Um, just something super terrible happens. You'll, I'll talk about it when, I, when we get there. But anyway, so my strategy um, during during this gameplay was, first of all, I put on music. And I know a lot of people are probably like, music? You need to listen to hear the footsteps and the information that the map is giving you, Kevin. But... For me, I'm not, you know, like, I know I have Turtle Beaches and stuff, I can hear, you know, this game doesn't even have a lot of good, like, sound effects, like, footsteps and stuff, but I can hear enough, but I need music, like, music just helps me play, like, it calms me down, helps me calm my nerves, helps me focus and do better. I had a flawless gameplay back in Black Ops that I was listening to, like, Wiz Khalifa during it, and I just went, hey, um, and, uh, this was the same way, I was listening to All Me by Drake, check it out, it's a good song, came up, that's on me, on me for it, I touched down in 86, but anyway, I was listening to that song, and it, it's just, it was a jam. It helped me out, helped me do good. So that was my first strategy, was to put on some music that would help me get in the zone. And then it was just to run around in this kind of area right here. Just stay in this kind of zone, stay near my teammates, and just use a lot of cover. Um, because it's just stupid to run around Rambo style in this game all the time. It doesn't work out. Like, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this. Probably some of my really old subscribers know this, because I've talked about it before. But I used to be absolutely terrible at Call of Duty. I was trash. So bad at the game. Like, just ridiculously bad. And it's it was... Well, Call of Duty 2, I wasn't too bad. that Because that was like a launch title. One of the first Call of Duty that I played. I was pretty good. But, um... Let me just say... Uh, I, I was pretty freaking terrible at Call of Duty 4. Like, I ran around, I just ran out, shot, died, ran out, shot, died. Like, I was just terrible, and I would, I would always go negative, I could never do good, and I started to realize, you know what, maybe I should pay attention to the mini-map, slow the gameplay down a little bit, you know, pay attention, and, and if somebody's around the corner and I know it, maybe wait for them to come around the corner instead of running, out, like, around the corner, like, Rambo, like, oh, I got you! And then dying. So I started to do that, started to play more smart. I know everybody on YouTube wants to see gameplays of people going 70 and 0 with the eraser tip of a pencil, but it just doesn't happen all the time. So holy crap, so close to dying there, oh my goodness. But yeah, so, you know, you just gotta play smart, use your teammates to your advantage so you don't get spawn trapped and they don't spawn on you. And uh, you know, don't worry about trying to do some crazy bull crap. This is where it gets sad, guys. Why? Why? Why did I have to miss that guy? So close to getting the freaking warship. You know how close I was? You know how much better this gameplay would have been? I was crying. I was like, no, I failed you. But the gameplay was still pretty good. So I'm so sorry that that happened. 
Um, I tried my best and I got killed and yeah, it happens to the best of us. But anyway, let's talk more about like Call of Duty and uh, you know, improving your gameplay. So first of all, play smart. Don't try to be some crazy Sandy Ravage run around with a shotgun in, in you know, the middle of the map and get a bunch of kills. Only certain people can do that. And he actually plays smart. Like, it looks like he runs around crazy, but he, he plays smart. He knows what he's doing. He uses cover and he, and he picks his battles carefully. Um, another thing that helped me get better was when I got Control Freaks. Um, I did a review of them, like, way back. Um, but now they're actually one of my sponsors, and I haven't really promoted them. You guys probably don't even know that. But, yeah, they're one of my sponsors now. And if you guys want to get Control Freaks, you can get, like, 10% off if you use the code SEXY, I think. I'll put the information in the description. But they help me a lot. I have big fingers, so it, it just makes aiming easier. I only put it on my right analog stick, and it just it just makes it easier for me, as you guys can see from this gameplay. It takes about a day or so of playing. Like, it takes about, like, a half a day to a day of playing to get used to them. But uh, definitely, uh, I think that I, I recommend them. So if you guys want to try them out, get a pair. They're pretty cheap. Check out the link. If you don't want them at all, don't don't worry. You don't need to get them. They're not they're not essential, but I think they help. So that's my little two cents. But yeah, guys, I'm back doing the challenges. I'm super happy and super excited for gaming again. I'm not gonna lie, this past year I was kind of getting bored. They're just. There wasn't a lot out, not too much I was into, but we got these new consoles coming out, new games, new Grand Theft Auto, new Call of Duty, new Battlefield, and my body is ready. Just remember, guys, you can leave me challenges for any games you want. It doesn't just have to be Call of Duty. I know that's easy because, like, we can customize stuff and boom, get some. We can customize the classes, but we've done Gears of War challenges like the No Bullets challenge. So as these new games come out, don't be afraid to challenge me in them. Leave a challenge down below in the comments. But that's the gameplay, guys. Won 24 and 2. I had a gameplay where I won, like, 26 and 3, but, um, I didn't really get any kill streaks, so maybe I'll just upload that randomly as like a random gameplay. But that's it, guys. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And until my next video, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Peace. Apparently, Harry Potter plays Grand Theft Auto.